Hello everyone! We got two PLC here. We're gonna demonstrate what happens if one of the PLC gets power cycle. So PLC B is your active PLC. We just power cycle that PLC there. And the PLC A, which is on the left hand side, it was on the standby. So as you can see, uh, as soon as PLC B loses power, uh, PLC A assumes the primary uh, role, I guess the, the active PLC role. Um, while it allows PLC B to power cycle and uh, uh, get ready. So when I clocked it, uh, PLC B took about 40 seconds to start. As you can see that the SDBY, which stands for standby LED, uh, is flashing on PLC A. And on the other side here, uh, we can see PLC B is still trying to start. So the flashing LED means that the uh, 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 PLC A, which is active PLC, cannot find or is waiting for PLC B to start. So as you can see, PLC B just came online here and it assumes the role of a standby. On let's look on the other side here on PLC A, we can see that the flashing standby uh, LED is gone. So what we'll do here next is that uh, let's power cycle PLC A and see what happens, which is our active PLC right now. Here we go. So let's look on the other side while PLC A is still trying to start. Uh, you can see PLC B has assumed the role of a primary PLC where you can see PRIM LED as solid. And like, like, a, like its predecessor PLC A, uh, the SDBY LED is flashing. And on this side here on PLC A, you can see PLC A is still trying to start, right? So when I clocked it, PLC A took about 100 seconds to start. I'm not too sure what the difference is uh, between those PLC. Maybe if you know the reason why uh, one of the PLC takes longer time than the other, maybe you can comment. Again, the scorecard was PLC B took about 40 seconds to start and PLC A took about, uh, it will take about uh, 100 seconds. You can see I'm not going to fast forward this video so you can get through me a uh, true uh, feeling of time here. So uh, PLC A is still trying to start. As soon as PLC A is start and ready to go, the SDBY on PLC A will go solid. And on this side here, uh, PLC B, SDBY will go off. Uh, just waiting on the PLC A to start here. Okay, you can see your PLC A has started, gone to a standby mode, and on PLC B here on the right hand side, you can see standby is off and primary. Just to compare, here's PLC A with the LED, and there you have it.